33B, the movie. Well, here we are with the leg, it's been cleaned up. I put a little bondo for this crack here. This whole piece from here out was off of the piano when we received it. And luckily it wasn't lost, because that's what happens sometimes. This whole thing here, this whole piece was broken off. So we glued it. Anyways, um, this has been cleaned up with detergent, water, and a little turpentine yesterday. I went over it to make sure I had all the wax. Somebody waxed this piano. You can tell because everything turned white on. Some kind of surface whiteness that just came right off with turpentine. Naphtha would have done the same thing. But what I want to do here is give the camera to my assistant. He can stand right here and look at that, that scroll work. I'm just going to take a little bit of a... You're going to see the damage here. It's so much, the finish is so deteriorated, I can't tell what's under it. So we're going to take a little alcohol, a little shellac here, and just see what it does. Yeah, see, it's going to bring out the damage, bring out the background. I see what I have to work with. we got a lot to work with here if we decide to do all these boo-boos. And there we... See? Comes out pretty good. Boy, that was filthy. This surface here, just from feet dirt and waxing, and vacuuming the rug dirt, whatever. Anyway, see, that's going to be nice when we reactivate this. Go over this whole thing with a little, little thin mixture of turpentine and uh, shellac, perhaps, and uh, a little French polish, and these things will look really nice. Especially if we do the movie 33B. Okay, this is the aftermath of a finished French polish here on this case. I just thought I'd take a swoop by, give it a little show. See the surface it's pretty level it has some little boys everything's reflecting look at the light reflecting so it's a very reflective surface i'm gonna stand it up on his legs now but i just thought i'd give this a shot once it's on its legs, I can take care of all the details in these carvings and finish the tops. But it's easy to do the side now because all the repairs are complete. And oh, it's dry too. It's not wet. See, you can't even, you can't see nothing. There's no, that's not an oily surface. So, we're ready to stand it up. Thirty-three B movie. This is the objective: is to make the whole piano look like this. There's the leg I cleaned up. Just doing some experiments on there with silica and shellac, mixed with a little turpentine. Gonna do some uh, leg magic later on no, but right now just wanted to swoop by this show you this side of this piano and we know what it looked like before it was pretty rough that's got a good base so what we're gonna do i forgot well i didn't forget but i, I was hoping somebody would come in the middle of the night and do it we got to do the end here this is pretty rough it's, it's, it's as rough as the rest of it was get that light down here you can see oh my well the whole side looked like that this over here so we'll fix that up and it turns into disaster oh sunburnt in a bad way the leg 
It's been de-waxed and de-filtied. Took all the dirt off. Now I'm gonna do this. Okay, I'll show you what I do here. Uh, I didn't show you that on the other side with the lacquer thinner. You can get rid of a lot of this. 90% of it with thinner. That's what I did over here on this side. Got a tremendous boo-boo up there. We got some here. Got some here I forgot to do. We'll do them. And this is something interesting here. Um, a chickering leg. It's from a square grand. And the left front leg over there. I'm not gonna show you. You can see it's missing here. The skirt is broken off here. Right here. About that far down. This whole chunk is missing. Something hit it up here, broke this off, and it's missing. But I found out that this piece, this this leg, is close enough. I can steal a piece from here. It's the same kind of wood. Probably the same age. And uh, I got a couple of good sides here left. Here. That one or this one here. That's a pretty good one right there. But I have another junk chickering out in the shed. Might have a skirt like that on it. But that's what we're going to do. Steal a piece from this poor old panel here. I think it's poplar. Or willow. I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, you can see the old boo-boo. Somebody touched it up there with something. And my cleaning job didn't take off, whatever that is. We'll get to that later. Right now, fix all of this. This is pretty bad. Oh my, okay, we'll go at it. Okay. I said I was going to show a little bit of this, something to melt the finish in. Oh, this is lacquer thinner with a big paintbrush. And we'll see what it does. Makes a mess. dissolves the finish put a little too much on here I gotta wait now I'm gonna keep it wet Let's melt the finish in here especially right here what I did to the side, both sides. Okay, now it's starting to have an effect. It takes a minute to wear through the finish. It softens the finish pretty fast. And uh, you gotta be careful. You don't wanna wash it out completely. There like this, so. Turns nice and red and clear like that. That's good.
it's working down here in this area. It's getting red and yellow is what I'm after. That's finished it. Separating from Bromley Wall, like right here. We can bring some of that in. Looks better. Obscures the gray in the back. But we want some of it. That's the path enough. <laughs> And when it does happen, it happens pretty quick. Like, like right now. This is what I did to both sides, so it was easier because it was, you know, horizontal. This is vertical. That horizontal thing, I could flood it more. At least I gotta watch it. Dries fast, gotta keep it wet. That's pretty good right there. A little more here. That's enough. It takes a long time to soften that stuff, see? It does get, it does clear up. Over here a little bit. Looks terrible. But it'll look okay. It'll look like that side of it. Like I said, it'll look like the side of it.
where you see the haze. I see a haze here. Work, work the lacquer. Smoothing it out. Over here. Don't have to be perfect. But it's all good. Okay. That looks bad enough, right? Pretty bad. Leave that dry. No. For a little while. Smoothing it out a little bit. Yeah, this is just lacquer thinner. Stinks like a paint the paintbrush. Look too bad. Maybe over here a little bit. White spots disappearing. That's what I was after. Get rid of those burnt spots, whatever they are. Okay, that's enough. I'm gonna leave it dry. I'm gonna condense some moisture now, turn white a little bit. See that in that camera there? Yeah, that's silica. This is loaded with it. See it in there? Oops. You can see it inside here. Anyways. I hit this like this. Alcohol. Shellac. And silica. thick. I'm just going to do this, melt everything in, seal everything in there.
Yeah, that looks pretty good. Lots of this stuff. being very aggressive, you know, rubbing it in good, turning into a jelly here. Okay, I'm gonna leave that sit for a while. We sand that down a little bit and then we'll do this again. 33B to movie. Okay. Trying to take care of this side here. We're going to take care of this side. I just want to show you if I can get in the light. You see how some of the finish is right down to the wood there. It was really bad. We got some left over here. And right now, i got to build up in here. Because I need to sand this down with a wooden block. Nothing else. See this here? These are parts of the finish that's left. So what i got to do is bring this area up. Everywhere is where it's missing. And then you give it a sanding down. The color doesn't look too bad. It's all modeled. Well, it's 150 years old. You'll see. It'll look better once we get some finish on here. But what I'm going to do is keep wiping this with just silica and shellac, like wash coat of shellacs. And do it five six times and then let it harden and then i can sand it down without wearing through here you just touch this with the sandpaper and you'll be gone through you know you're going to get some strange spots you can't hide so that's what i'm doing right now and we'll come back to it oh here we are in the inside finally and touch these up by starting here, see? Oops, the camera again. I started there. And I'm doing it with a hot knife and my hot plate, my antique hot plate. It's actually not that antique. I am. So, I filled up a major boo boo here just now with this hot knife and this stuff. I don't know why they call it burnins, but that's what they refer to this stuff as. Mohawk. Anyways, I'm going to try to show this a little bit. And we also have some shatter here to fix here. You can see it in the light there. See the finish is all shattered here along the edge. And that's where that silica and uh, French polished, uh, silica laden French polish comes in handy. I'm gonna start polishing the side here a little bit, but I'm gonna concentrate down here on this molding. And we can get rid of most of that. Even some of these little spaces here. Polish it in, fill it up. 
So we'll continue. This is a. Uh, it's kind of tricky. You got to get used to this burn-in thing here. Burn-in. I'd like to comment on that. It's not a burn-in. It's a melt-in. So anyway, I'm gonna heat my knife up. Hot, hot, hot. Put some of this in there. But you gotta watch the heat. And then just come down on top of here, like so. If it's too hot, you're gonna burn your finish. So you wanna give it a couple of seconds for the heat to go down through it. See, and then follow it up. Heat the knife. See the smoke coming off of it there. Get some on here, not too much. And then we'll come up into here like so. Good thing there's not too much of this. Only here where the plate went in. One other spot, I think. Pretty much right here, though. I don't, I don't see anything else. Superficial boo-boos from working on it, banging into it with your tools, etc. Your head. And here we go. See if it bubbles, it's too hot. There. Just before it finished cooling off, the knife is just the right temperature and you press really hard, it pushes right in. And then we'll sand that smooth, of course. And you put some shellacky over there and it'll look really good. Down here a little bit. I don't know, if anybody wants, you can try this at home. It's just before the knife gets too cool to melt it in is the time to, to move fast and you push hard and it melts the finish together the heat goes right through the finish and softens it up I don't even know what these are made out of they call them lacquer sticks they have shellac sticks I should probably get some of those um, it, <laughs> if I'm used to it though I know how hot to get the knife, but the shellac sticks must melt at a very low temperature. I don't think I've ever had any, but I think they do sell them. So here we are. Huh? Okay. See, we took care of this horrible shatter here. I call it shattered finish. The finish is still there under these white spots. See these long things here? It's just un unbonded from the, from the wood like a piece of glass. If I take a fingernail and scratch that, you can scratch it off right down to the wood. Okay, okay, we're gonna not do this on camera for the duration of this whole process. It's not that long. See, my knife's a little too hot, all right? When it cools off right now, another second it'll be too cool. That's when you do it. Okay, I can sand this smooth now with a curved block. And I'm gonna take care of these three things here and uh, I got one more over there so we'll do that so I keep all my burn-ins down there <laughs> Jeez. there we are we'll be back I filled this with the burnings for the melt in so it ran cold. And now we gotta sand it down. And it's kind of a this is some serious sandpaper, it's like 220. Sticky back paper. But the sticky back paper is flat enough to do this. You can't use the cloth back paper. No, no, no. It's got to be hard and flat. Anyways, you roll it in there. This is where I melted it in.
tough to get in that corner without wearing off the finish all around. You might. If this wasn't rosewood, you'd have to be a lot more careful about doing such a thing, wearing through your finish to the wood because the wood here is a natural color, which is nice. Smooth here, wearing through here. I'll have to stop to concentrate down here a little bit. Anyways, this is what I'm doing. And of course, after this, I'm going to hit it with shellac and alcohol only. Get it wet. It'll melt in quite a bit of this scratching here. Then we can use a finer sandpaper. But that's gotten rid of the, rid of the unbonded finish here. And there was a big boo boo here. God, this was deep. So we filled that in at the same time. And now I'm gonna finish sanding this. Uh, maybe a little, little bit less of a abrasive sandpaper, a little finer grit. Finish it up 